Good morning. Bruce here. Getting back to the fundamentals. Today, we're getting ready to go to the range. Cool. So let's get it started. Going to the range. Uh, things you need to remember. These are your priority things to remember going to the range. You master these four rules, you pretty well have it knocked out. One, treat all guns as if they are loaded. I don't care how many times you've racked the slide, removed the magazines, seen it is empty. No, do not treat it that way. Always treat it like it is loaded. No accidents. Cool. Never point the muzzle at anyone or anything you are not destroying. Got it? No playing around. No sweeping, especially at the range. Don't sweep. Bruce, I got to clean up the brass. No, that's not what I meant by don't sweep. All right, we're at the range. We're in a line, right? Everybody's at a firing line. One, two, three, people down the line. You move your gun like this to work the magazine. You just aimed it at half a dozen people. Pull that trigger. One, two, three people may get shot. You are a menace to society and your ass should be kicked off the range. If you sweep people, don't do it. Keep the muzzle pointed downrange in a safe direction. Don't be nonchalant about this. Well, I was just checking. I was just checking. No, 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 no. Safety first. Wow. It's early in the morning. Our coffee's kicking in because I'm starting to get a little rant going on here. We want you to enjoy yourself. Go to the Don't sweep people. Thank you. Whew. All right. Three, keep your finger off the trigger until you're on target. Don't pick it up out of the holster finger on. No, and a lot of people do that. Develop the habit, keeping that finger outside of the trigger guard. Don't get it in there until you're on target. Good. See, these basic rules, follow those. You won't have any negligent discharge. I didn't say accidental. There is no accidental. It's negligent. It's on you. You messed up. Know your target and what's beyond. At the range you have a little advantage. If you went out into the woods, threw up a target, maybe not so much. That's why you need to know what's between you, the gun, the target, and beyond. Where is that bullet ending up? You aim up like this, boom, negligent discharge. How far is that bullet going? Quarter mile, half mile, what is it going to hit? Handgun, short range. Shotgun, shorter range. Rifle, maybe miles. Know your target and what is beyond. Once again, follow these basic rules. You pretty much have it down. You are good to go. Uh, but we're not going to stop there. And put that to the side, you see it. Okay. Let's see. Your firearm. Okay. You've got your nice brand new gun from the store. Uh, nice brand new gun from the store in the box. Perfect. You're ready to go to the range. No. Once you buy that firearm, new or used, take it home, take it apart, clean it, and oil it by the manufacturer's recommendation. Glock, it's barely anything. Some of the others, fairly heavy. 
consult the manual, learn it. You don't know where it is? Come here where I am, on YouTube. Everybody's got something about that. Look on YouTube. So, new or old, clean it. Because new from the factory, it is not good to go. It is loaded with debris, machining bits, and 9 out of 10, it is not oiled. You are prone to jams at the range, slowing down everybody and everything. If you're under a structured instructor and fellow instructors, they will tell you not to clear the jam. They will do it, especially if you're in a class, beginner's class, concealed carry class. The instructors will take care of it. If you're by yourself at the range, well, you're on your own. But once again, you get the jam, you go to clear it, don't sweep people. But Bruce, I gotta do it there to get, I gotta do this to think, common sense. You gotta keep it down range. You gotta work on it. Turn 90 degrees. Now you can keep the barrel down range. <laughs> Simple solution. Alright, uh, yeah, it's pretty what, except go to the range, try not to use old ammunition, make sure it is the correct ammunition for your firearm. Very important, because we have various malfunctions, we'll get to the malfunctions later on. I'll just give you a heads up for future video, one of the malfunctions is called a squib load, old damaged ammunition that doesn't go bang it goes pop yeah so just remember bang you're okay but pop and stop because odds are that bullet is lodged in the barrel and you send one more downrange well not going to be a good day for you or anybody in your close vicinity pop and stop all right, uh, pro oh, protection. No, we're not talking condoms. Protection. When you go to the range, it's going to be very loud. You need proper ear protection. You will need eye protection. My glasses, even as large as they are, it's not really the best. You want nice eye protection, especially if somebody's shooting steel. Now, Lead bullets hitting steel, they spall. <clears throat> they basically go out at 90 degrees. But full metal jacket, there's a chance. It's not probable, but there's a chance that a piece of the metal jacket can ricochet. But for the most part, it spalls. So if anybody's shooting steel, maintain your eye protection at all times. I've been hit by little fragments but, it, but it's rare, rare. Maybe one out of a few hundred rounds, but be in mind. Wear your eye protection. Oh, I don't need eye protection. I'm just shooting a couple shots. Yeah, yeah. I don't need a condom. It's only a quickie. Wake up! Oh, sorry. Ranting again. All right, we got our eye protection. We got a hearing protection. Clothing. Okay. Wear proper clothing. Don't wear a V-neck, ladies. Don't wear a v-neck, ladies. It's a hot brass catcher. You're holding the gun, firearm, somebody beside you, and it's ejecting. It goes down there. You're getting burned. While you're getting burned, can you keep your presence of mind to keep the pistol, rifle, in a safe direction? Don't chance it. Dress up. Same with shoes. No open toed, sandals, camel toed, or crocs. Closed shoes and socks. Once again, you don't want that hot brass getting you and distracting you. Boom. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This kind of goes with protection. Make sure you've had enough to eat. And if it's a nice hot summer day, Oof. Right now it's only 70. Perfect. That's why I'm shooting this early. In a couple of hours it's going to be 90. Don't dehydrate. Take plenty of water with you to the range. 
Ah, stay hydrated, my friend. Stay hydrated. Along with the water, you may want to bring a first aid kit. Okay. Ah, ah, we'll get that down to the safety briefing. Speaking of safety briefing, this is what I do for classes. When there's a group of students or when I taught concealed. Numbers of new shooters, experienced shooters, you don't know what. So, I always had a safety briefing. If you're going to the range by yourself, well, yeah, you're talking to yourself. So, for the groups, first thing I said, whose phone can hit 911? I've never had an accident in a class. Thank you. Never had one. Don't want one. But, be prepared. Go back to your Boy Scout, Girl Scout training. Oh, sorry. Three fingers left. Thank you. All right. Can you get 911? Good. Next, I ask who has medical training? Nurse, EMS. Fine. Find that person. Who else has it? You need a backup. Same with the 911. Say if your 911 caller got shot, he's not calling 911. You need the backup. Next, will EMS know how to get there? Do you know the address of this range? Keep this in mind, folks. Because if it happens, we hope it never does. If it happens, uh, people are going, they're out in space. But if prepared, boom, you'll get 911. EMS will get there. Life is good. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, commands. Now, when you're out at the range by yourself, and it's a community type range, fed ground, it's a little faster or looser. There's just a few basic commands. A hot range and a cold range. Hot range, fire away. Everybody's firing, eyes and ears are on, they're shooting, it stays that way. Stay behind the firing line while the line is hot. When it's time to go change targets, put your firearms away. Well, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Putting your firearms away, you only do that while the range is hot for safety. You don't want to call a cold range, have people out there in the range, oh, I'm putting my gun away. Bang! and you shot the sucker down range changing his target because you were stupid enough to pick up your firearm. Now, properly, when the range is cold, you unload your firearm. Ow. You unload your firearm, leave it cocked open with the ejection port straight up laying on the bench. And you do not touch it while the range is cold. I don't care for what. Don't touch it. Leave it where it sits. Don't touch it. You can do that plenty of time when the range is hot. When it's cold, that's when we go out, change targets, chit chat, and life is good. In a class, it'll go back to the show and make clear. If you're structured, the instructors or instructor will come by and, all right, make and show clear. Where the magazine is removed, cocked back, ejection poured up, down on the bench, you'll go, very good. Step away from the bench. At that time, you can load magazines if you want. Just don't touch the firearm. Boom. All right, what else? What was hot, cold, yeah, yeah. Oh, cease fire. Now, even in the structured class, this is a command anybody can give at any time. Not because you feel like it, because it's necessary. Say a stray dog comes out onto the range. Nobody else sees it except you. It's that mysterious, or Harvey the rabbit, comes out on the range. You can go, cease fire, cease fire, cease fire, three times. Like that? Yeah. Everybody should cease fire. In a structured class, we would go to what we call low ready. Bang, bang, bang. Cease fire, cease fire, cease fire. Ooh, ooh. 
down to 45 degrees. Hold it there. 45, not down. You're sweeping your stuff. Don't sweep your stuff. 45 degrees. Wait for further commands. It may be nothing. They may go resume fire. You got to wait and find out. That's about the time your OODA comes in, or the range master's OODA. OODA bless you. OODA bless you. I'm the Toba. No, not Buddha. OODA. We use OODA every day in our experience. It's just natural. OODA. Observe. Orient. Decide. Act. Apple and an orange. Sitting on the table. You're hungry. Observe. Ooh, apple orange. Orient. Yeah, I'm going to get one of those. Decide. Ooh, apple. Act. We use it all the time. We also use this on the range. Ooh, da. Okay. Low ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now. It's also a matter of situational awareness. If you're at the range and it's structured, you're pretty safe. Don't let your guard down. You are charged with your safety. You may have the best range safety officer in the land. He can't, he or she cannot see everything. Open your eyes. Keep an eye on your neighbors. How are they shooting? Are they safe? Are they nonchalant? Are they arrogant? Keep in mind. Do you see a bunch of unsafe movements? They're sweeping people doing that? Do yourself a favor. Get the hell out of there. Is it worth your life to be around some jerk who can't control their firearms and puts everybody else in danger? That's up to you. Me? I've left the range many a day because they were unsafe clowns. And what else? Actually, that pretty well covers it for range safety rules. Getting ready for the range, enjoying the range. And I'm about done with this because it's about 80 now. It's going up. That's hot. Mm. So, join me again for more fundamental videos. And remember these top four rules. Remember them. Study them. Put them to heart. Memorize them. They can save your life. Alright, that was fun. Look forward to the next one. And as always, like, subscribe, write a comment, blah, 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 blah. Send me 20s and an unmarked envelope. Till then, have a good day. See ya!